Testing one, two. Testing three, four. I don't really feel like saying no more about testing, so just gonna take it straight to the video. Tell you something that I know. If you're feeling the flow, then I know you know that this thought is somewhat original, but gotta give thanks to, you know, the originators that I heard it from first and I can put it in a different reverse anyway anyway what's new for today as I would say I got a thought for today coming through with something new if you didn't know before you're about to know now so the topic for today is all about what they should teach people in school what people should be educated on and we'll break it down into what and why so basically going from uh, this at a perspective that my opinion is that most of what people learn in school today is useless uh, most important skill that anyone could learn is how to educate themselves so they don't have to rely on someone else to tell them how to learn something I don't really uh, see this being being done in schools today so uh, you know most people get an education so that they can make more money really I mean that's to me seems to be uh, the overall objective of you know going to further education uh, you know of course you're learning a skill and everything but I mean, I don't really, I don't really know anybody myself that uh, went to school to learn a skill that wasn't a skill that they hoped to be paid for. So, what can I say more? Would be that remember that money is not the main goal. Go on more about that in a minute. You need to really learn how money works. Learn how there's an abundance of money learn the best strategies to go about getting this money and uh... you know you can really apply this to anything you're really trying to get because like i said before money is not the main goal not the main thing to go after so after all the preview i would have to talk about you know my own experience with this kind of concept really i would have to say that I've uh, gone through the traditional system. Didn't really have anyone to tell me, uh, you know, anything was wrong with it. Anyone to encourage me to look in a different direction. So this was something that I kind of stumbled across myself, just really reading and wanting to uh, wanting to do more than really what uh, the system kind of told me was possible, what was out there. So I started on my own path, my own journey to kind of figure this stuff out. You know, did uh, did the jobs, the the go, do the interview, the physical labor, did the blue collar, the white collar. Uh, most of them not so good. Did the college, did the uh, get your degree, get a better paying job, go through the nicer interviews with the suit and tie. Didn't really, uh, didn't really sit well with me the whole process, the whole thought of that kind of future. So, uh, you know, have been, uh, I would say entrepreneurial minded before I even understood what the word entrepreneur meant always thought about ways to you know think about different hustles different businesses that I could do and uh, I think really the more I got into that kind of mindset the more I decided to start learning about business how businesses work stuff like that uh, vaguely 
vaguely read about money, how money worked, didn't realize at the time when I was first getting into business how important understanding money was. Now I do. So now I'm bringing the knowledge to you. So you can see through all the, uh, the smoke and mirrors, all the holograms, all the all the things that aren't real out here, all the things that most people get distracted by. Going over things again, just quick preview would be that you know most people go to school to make money. Most of the stuff people learn in school doesn't really help them make money. Gonna look at uh you know just kind of some general rules around money. Uh, what what you should focus on to learn more about to increase your income but always remembering at the end of the day that it's not about really you know how much uh, money you make but what you're doing with this money you know a lot of wise people talk about you know it's easy to make money it's a lot harder to keep it I find that to be very true as well but that's a different topic for a different day and uh, I'm gonna get started right now so I would start by saying that, yeah, really most of what people learn in school is useless. I mean, I remember learning all kinds of things. I remember cursive probably being like, it's like a, it's like a way of writing that's like different from a normal way of writing. And we were told for so many years in school how it was going to be so important when we were older and stressed on us so much about learning this style of writing which is totally irrelevant today one of the many things that uh just didn't make any sense even at the time you know but we just went along with it because that's what we were told we were supposed to do so really uh the most important skill i think that anyone can learn is the skill of self-education meaning like like uh what do you want to learn knowing what you want to learn would be the first step and then understanding like what resources are available how to go about teaching yourself something understanding like what methods you learn best you know this is all through trial and error over time uh people can teach you how to teach yourself to some extent but a lot of it is just you know going out and doing it and getting better as uh, as you go and you'll find that uh, you know uh, it might take when you really start figuring this out it might take uh, might take a year to really like learn a skill set or something like that you know but once you get get this process down and understand yourself better and how you learn I mean you could you could learn a similar skill in something like two to three months um, just streamlining the process as you go so you know I could do a whole nother video on this topic alone uh, that'd be another topic for another day another thing so the next point I want to make is that uh, you know most people do get an education so that they can improve their income unfortunately there are a lot of people out there who who are doing careers working at jobs that they don't really like and they got into that line of work because someone told them it would make a lot of money doing that or they felt that you know they would make more money doing that over something else and i mean that's to me that's a back really backwards way of uh not only working making a living but just living your life in general so yeah don't put the money first always you know focus on what you're the best at look at what your skill set is because those are the things that you can be the best at and when you're the best at something you can make the most money at it you know, it's like the top 10% of people make like 90% of the money in that field. Uh, 80, 20, 90, 10, however, <clears throat> however you want to look at it. It's uh, something along those lines. So, uh, yeah, and really with uh, now remembering that uh, money is not the main goal, but understanding, you know, the abundance of money and how it works is really going to help you obtain it so what you want to do is since they don't teach this in school you want to learn how to teach yourself how money works 
And if anybody out there is listening who is an educator, a regulator, something ar- along the lines of the educational system, and they're listening to this, please take note. If you uh, if you agree with what I'm saying, you know maybe spread the word, get it out there that this is what people really want to learn, and that's how money works. Basically, like breaking it down into how the economy works, how banks work how the financial market works, how the Federal Reserve works, you know, stuff along those lines. Uh, Really, it's it's not that difficult. You know, all the information is out there freely. Um, You know, you learn these things one at a time. And I mean, in the in the in the span of a year, you could have a really, really exceptional understanding over all these concepts. And you know that's really going to help you to understand where the money is how money is uh dispersed how to get money how to get loans even stuff like that how to stay away from certain loans that kind of thing uh so yeah that could even be another topic on how money works is how loans work uh that would go into more how banks work so basically i'm going to just kind of like give a brief uh summary on each one of these concepts and uh starting with the economy you know uh everything is really tied together kind of like nature you know you can't have the flowers without the bees and vice versa and uh even things that don't seem like they have any relation it all works together and it's perfect so this is just like the economy and uh you know money flows into one thing flows out of another thing the rate that it flows in and out affects affects the area and how nice or how how poor the area is stuff like that same thing works on a on a micro level as a macro level meaning the same thing works in like a neighborhood as it does for like a whole country or even the whole world if you look at like how countries operate with each other so the banks work basically by making money off of people who use their services there's a a ton of ways that they make money off of people and the biggest one is by lending out money so the main thing you want to know is that you know every time you put a dollar in the bank the bank's gonna pay you something like you know one percent interest Uh, which does not even really cover inflation so if your money is sitting in the bank like you're basically losing money however when your money is sitting in the bank for every dollar you put in the bank uh, the bank can turn that one dollar into something like you know ten dollars basically they have the power for every you know dollar that they hold to loan out extra money that they can just basically you know write down on their books even when it doesn't exist so the banks are really you know making about 15 to 20 percent off of every dollar you put in there and most people i think don't seem to understand that you know banks aren't really maybe maybe in the past they worked for they worked for us but now they're working for themselves they're working for the people the the ceos that run these banks that are making ridiculous amounts of money and on top of that we've obviously got a corrupt banking system which uh has remained to be corrupt even after destroying nearly destroying the economy badly damaging the economy back around 2008 what happened was the government stepped in and and uh basically like gave the banks money to make up for their mistakes there were some regulations and rules that came about this and some of these rules were even reversed i mean what it what it seems to me is that the banks are in a position right now where they realize that they can pretty much do whatever they want get away with it and uh that's just, that's just not right um i see a future of people having the ability to be their own bank i mean the banks have even in have even in many cases stepped in and told people that 
you know, they don't have access to money even when they're even when it's in their account for various reasons. There's all kinds of problems with, you know, fraud alerts, stuff like that. So yeah, I think the the important thing to do is uh become your own bank. Like gradually learn how to do this and you can slowly make a shift from using banks to becoming your own bank. So uh yeah, understanding how the banks work is very important. Understanding how the financial markets work is also very important. You want to know how how different sectors of the economy work and are tied together. You want to know these all affect the prices that rise and go up and down. Once you understand this, I mean you can you can take this knowledge to your advantage and make money off of trading and investing. Uh, which to me is, what, from what I understand, one of the most profitable ways to make your money work for you. The next topic would be how the Federal Reserve works. The Federal Reserve really just prints money out, sends it to uh, the bank. There's a lot more to it than that. Most of uh, what I learned about the Federal Reserve is responsible for me wanting to become my own bank and understanding how important it is not to uh, not to get caught up in this system where uh, where a lot of lending happens and people pay really high rates of interest so that the Federal Reserve can make a lot of money and uh, there's a lot of people that are profiting off of all of this. So once uh really you know there is kind of like a dark side to money and all that kind of stuff, but I don't really want to focus on that. I think the important thing is to learn about money so you can use it to your advantage. And one of the things that I really realized once I learned about money is that there is an abundance of money. There's a massive abundance of money. Like if you understand this abundance and you understand where the abundance is you can you can really just just uh take a shortcut to making a lot of money and most of the ways that i feel like traditional education teaches people about how to make money will lead them to a scarcity mindset about money will lead them to look for money making opportunities that are uh that are really overpopulated with people trying to find that same money you know, everybody's kind of really like trying to go after the same dollar, essentially. And there's a good uh, there's a good book to kind of understand this this concept too. It's called Blue Ocean Strategy. So basically, what you want to do is you want to want to really, you know, when it comes to money in general, look to make money where there's not a lot of competition. Look for money where there's not a lot of other people trying to go after that same dollar. And the reason it's called Blue Ocean Strategy is that, you know, the ocean is very big. There's a lot of opportunities out there. Uh, but what happens when, you know, all the fish and the sharks and everything start, you know, all looking for food in the same area is that area starts to get really bloody. Um, obviously not an ideal condition to be in. So... You want to avoid going after the same food in the same area. Search out, search out new opportunities. Search out new food. Search out new ways to make money. Well, I would have to say that's it for today. The thought about what should be taught in school in regards to making money. Remember that you know money is really not not the most important thing um, the most important thing is what you use money for how you how you deal with money stuff like that law of attraction really can can elevate understanding of money and the ability to get money so Go ahead and hit the like button if you like what you heard. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to hear more and you're not subscribed already. 
leave any comments, questions, anything you feel like. Till the next day, and I have a new thought to say. I'm out.